So we're here at this uh, Eurodig conference. Uh, Paolo, what are you getting out of this? Well, I'm trying to influence people. I'm trying to get connections and get input to do further campaigning. Uh, I'm here with the New Media Summer School, which is essentially trying to bring youth, which is like the main user group of the internet, to get some influence for it. Because it, this is a multi-stakeholder event, the buzzword of this event. Uh, <laughs> uh, but there's almost no youth represented. Uh, so that's why I'm here. Uh, and we're discussing things like copyright, but they decided to not give it as much space uh, at this event because they have they did that last year and we can't come to any conclusion and it's controversial so, and they know this. Uh, so they decided, hey, let's not have this controversial discussion again. What is that? Uh, the challenge today with copyright is for, for young bloggers who, oh. who fear that their content will be stolen. Yeah, the problem with bloggers and copyright is that bloggers, they want to have fame, they want followers, they want to be seen, meaning that accreditation have to work. As well as we're living in a society today where we do remixes, like we have a, this remix culture, meaning we, we don't use new ideas, we take old ones and make them newer and try to put them in context. Which of course means you have to be able to use works that are printed like when someone is actually alive and not 70 years after they death. So, and this is like, you, you can have several solutions to this. There are some that are great, like opt-in, which is a corporate solution where you can, it's being discussed right now, but it's essentially about where you can apply to have it copyrighted. So it's sort of like Creative Commons. You get it for five years, for example, could be a reasonable period of time. And then if you want to keep it, you could maybe sm pay a small fee to have it prolonged or just apply to have it prolonged because then it won't be a class issue. It wouldn't be about who has the m most money and who can sue who, which is today. It's about who has the actual right to use this material. And this also enables people to decide not to have it prolonged and therefore letting it out there. And if we manage to get the accreditation system right, so like the sources, that would mean more media and more people actually knowing you exist, which is potentially more people to your blog, which is good for all the bloggers. I think no one, no blogger would disagree with the statement that they want more traffic, because that's why they write. What's the purpose in writing things that no one reads? 